here with Pauline Cullen, Hi. the author of so many well-known Isles books. And she's here at the Cambridge uh, Books yeah, stall to give us a small uh, like a bit about what is on offer on the shelves here today. I'm writing a free book at the moment, to, telling people how to study and, and using specific books and the best way to improve your your language and your your IELTS score using specific books. And some of the books that I recommend are here on the bookshelf. Um, so of course my own. Um, official Cambridge Guide to IELTS, which I did the skills section for that. This is also a great book, great author, Vanessa Jakeman, um, Complete IELTS. I recommend any of Vanessa's books as well. Uh, in, in my book, I, I have a whole chapter based on grammar and looking at different ways to study grammar. Mm -hmm. And I recommend these if you're, if you're not familiar with studying grammar, because a lot of self-study students haven't studied language for a long time and don't mm -hmm. know where to start. So this series, um, because it's graded, mm -hmm. is a very good place to start. There's lots oh. of activities. Um, Raymond Murphy's book's excellent. Um, so they're a, they're a great place to start if you want mm -hmm. to focus on grammar. But in the free book I talked to you about not spending too much time working on complex grammar. It's about clear communication and using it effectively mm -hmm. um, in your writing. But you need to also work on accuracy um, and balance accuracy with fluency. So again, I talk about that in the free book, in the grammar chapter, as well as the writing chapter. Mm -hmm. And these books are great for focusing on at different times. Mm -hmm. I talk in the book about how course books teach you and the different stages of learning so that you're aware of what you're doing when you're learning, whether you're focusing on accuracy or whether you're focusing on fluency. Because if you're a self-study student, you really have to become a very good independent learner. And actually, even if you're following a course, you have to go beyond the classroom and learn more than your teacher can give you if you're aiming to reach seven or eight, you know, any of the higher levels of IELTS. You've really got to be an independent learner. Okay, thank you, Paul and Kellen. So, uh, because we only have the freshly printed uh, yes. books of this year, yeah. so what are the names of the authors that you would recommend for the students? I highly recommend um, Judith Wilson is a mm -hmm. great IELTS author. Claire McDowell and mm -hmm. Vanessa Jakeman have written mm -hmm. lots of, of great books for IELTS. Mm -hmm. um, myself, of course, mm -hmm. I've written mm -hmm. five books now for IELTS. Uh, also, some other writers you may not have heard of. Um, Amanda French is a great author. Uh, in Australia we have some great authors as well. Uh, we have Sophie Walker, Megan Purcell, Miles Horden in New Zealand. Lots of great authors around the world to look for and all writing great IELTS books. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. that's how you get a 10 in IELTS. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Paul and Cullen, Thank for your you. tips. Uh, we're off for some ice cream now. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. okay. We're here with some secret tips on the This is the common version. mistakes at IELTS Intermediate. But not the original one. Uh, this is a new version. It's a little bit more expensive than the original one because it comes with four practice tests mm -hmm. uh, from Cambridge Test Book 11. So you're basically combining two books in one. Mm -hmm. um, the, so this is why it says Test Bank. And when you buy the book, you get a code, an activation code here, which gives you access to four practice tests. And those are the ones you'll find in uh, Test Book 11. And the Common Mistakes series was written based on studying the most common mistakes made at bands five and six writing. So we, there are 30 units mm -hmm. and what each one does, it looks at a very uh, specific mistake. Mm -hmm. uh, you do some work on it, then it's explained, then there's practice. And then these are more common mistakes, the same pattern. And then a third unit. So and after three units, there's always a test and you can see that everything is related to IELTS. So. Um, this is helping you to look at, you know, an mm -hmm. academic writing mm -hmm. test one and so on. And you're building up your mm -hmm. accuracy mm -hmm. in, the, in the grammar points and vocabulary as well. It works on grammar and vocabulary, mm -hmm. uh, mistakes that are made at bands five to six um, in IELTS. Mm -hmm. So a great way to combine common mistakes at IELTS with four mm -hmm. practice tests through the test bank. And what is your suggestions on a proper sequence of setting all these books? Should we use the test books first or the grammar books first or this one first? So which, uh, 
which is the proper really, sequence? I, I would focus on the language first mm -hmm. um, and build up your skills. And once you feel, okay, I've just learned something that's really going to help me for task one, mm -hmm. then go to the test bank and do mm -hmm. some writing and try to put it into practice. It's mm -hmm. always about putting it into practice so mm -hmm. that you can consolidate what you've learned. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, definitely do it that way. Mm -hmm. And then maybe go back and revisit to see oh. uh, and make sure you've got it right and then review what you've done. Mm -hmm. Always review. Review and review what you've produced. So you're always working on either accuracy mm -hmm. or fluency and, and really getting it right. Okay, cool. Okay? Thank you so much. No problem. Wow. <laughs> this is once again the common mistakes at IELTS oh, Intermediate. Intermediate, yes. Bye. Pauline, none other than Pauline Cowan. Okay. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.